morning. Good morning, everybody. Nick the Pond King here. We're here with Jeff and Merrick, and we're picking out boulders for their mini pondless waterfall. So this week, we're building an awesome mini pondless waterfall. We're going to take out their old feature, and today we get to pick out the stones for that. Probably going to be starting in a couple days, but what happens with us is once we're on your project, we give you 100% of our attention until it's done, and we're happy, and you're happy. So we're going to pick out some boulders down here in Farmington, Rock Hard Landscape Supply. And we are going to pick from the artisan pile, and we've already got some really cool ones picked out. <laughs> you got one you like? Yeah, this one. This one's ah. cool. Yeah, I agree. this one. All right, Dan's taking us to some of the piles that have some really cool things. I mean, if I can reach it, that is. Hey, 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 happy Thursday, everyone. I am Nick the Pond King, and this is our channel, Pond King Water Gardens, where we're showing you that water features are fun everywhere. This time it's right here in Crystal, Minnesota, and we are building our mini pondless waterfall. This is project number 11, and it's not gonna be without a few things that we have to think through, but that's what's so fun about this job. There's always a challenge. Right now we have to bring all our boulders through this gate onto a paver patio. So what we're gonna be doing is really considering how to protect this paver patio the best way possible. We've got a nice, beautiful backyard. They have a green thumb, They're, it's just beautiful. And our waterfall is gonna look fantastic. It's gonna be going in that corner, coming towards the house and really projecting some nice sound into this area. It's gonna be rich, tranquil, calming, relaxing. It's gonna look fantastic. It's gonna be tucked in between those trees. We're gonna be building up some retaining walls to protect the fence, making sure that we're not building anything against the uh, retaining wall block there. And then we're gonna be coming down towards these trees. We have to keep in mind to protect the drip lines on these trees so that we're not hurting any of those. We've got a few huge boulders that we wanna bring in here. So uh, what we decided as a team was we're gonna put a thin layer of dirt over our fabric here, and then we're gonna set our mats on top of that dirt. So that's really gonna disperse the load evenly across our patio. We might even have to do that on the walkway. Uh, and now we're gonna start moving in boulders so that we can have a game plan. First thing we have to do is start with our big guys so that we can build our retaining wall. We wanna make sure we get some good height change on this. Uh, right now, Evan is working on locating the power service because there is a power cord coming off of the garage and that's running underground somewhere to that box. So we're asking Evan if he can kind of locate that. You can see we've got a line sprayed out of where we're gonna be putting our retaining wall so that we can have a nice buildup. And this is gonna be about a five to six foot long pondless waterfall. We might be able to get it to be a little bit longer and we're gonna have our basin be somewhere in this area. We're trying not to go too far into these drip lines to try and protect these trees. It is a tight space, but it is gonna to come together in a great way and then it's gonna be beautiful. All right, so the guys moved in a full load of dirt here. Uh, we definitely have a yard of dirt on our pathway. It definitely feels like that's working in a really good way. I haven't seen many pavers shift. We got our heaviest boulder into the back right away. Things are looking great for that. So now we're gonna just kind of smooth this out, move the machine because that's right where I'd like to see our basin going in right over there. So we're gonna have some really cool S motions on this one and there'll be some dramatic changes happening until it drops in. but. We'll figure that out from here. All right, guys, happy Monday to you. Nick and I and our families had a great weekend. Caught lots of fish with the kids, so we're back. The guys got the basin in on Friday, and this morning uh, we got rolling right away, and we got some rocks placed. We got the first waterfall and frame set. We're working on number two, 
and we're just popping these rocks in super quick. That first waterfall and frame set, they're working on number two. They got something cool going on here with this rock that's got it carved out. I'm really excited to see that. We're gonna keep building up. We'll have basically three cool drops. We're gonna make sure that we hit all the viewing from the grilling seating area, all the windows, and we wanna really get that sound to project out here as well really dark hard to see but that is 12 inches across versus the regular size diffuser which hope get you some water running pretty quick gotta get a little wet down right All right, and the guys are just finishing cleaning up. Look at that, like we weren't even here. And that's how we like to leave it. Where we do any damage, we will lay grass seed. We mulch around the feature. There's Brad doing the final wet down. We put together this beautiful water feature. Going from that hard plastic tub to a rubber liner. Concave work of art. Man, I'm really proud of the team. It looks really natural. This middle waterfall just really sneak it in the wind. It looks like that water just carved right through there. And you got this other horse tail falls on this side. I really liked it. And it's a really nice sound. A two to four thousand gallon hour pump. I redesigned it with the waterfall with in mind of that because we don't want to go too wide to where that pump can't push it over and make a natural looking waterfall. All right, guys. So you have a new waterfall in your backyard. What do you think? Check this out. That's right. Check it out. You guys like that sound? It's awesome. It is oh, very nice. Just no comparison whatsoever to that little tub. <laughs> well, thank you guys for the opportunity. This is, uh, I think, going to lead to some more backyard uh, waterfalls for us, as this thing is just beautiful and good. You're the latest and greatest, and every one we do gets better and better. So, we I will, uh, we will enjoy it. Thank you, Pond King. You're welcome. Thank you, guys.